Hello everyone, greetings and welcome back to another exciting video of class 3 EVS and today we are going to learn a new topic and the name of topic is plant world. But before starting this lesson, I just want to ask you one reader. Okay, so everyone has to read it. So let's start. I make my own food but I'm not in the kitchen. I provide food for all but I am not a chef. I give oxygen to everyone, but it is nevertheless for me. So guess what it is? Yes, come on. Yes, many of you might have guessed it correctly. And the correct answer for above riddle is plant or tree. Yes, plants make their own food, but not in the kitchen. And they provide oxygen to everyone but they never take it got it so the first point that we are going to discuss about our plant world is the types of a plant which are the types of a plant that we see around us so there are some climbers are there creepers are there herbs are there shrubs are there water plants are there and some are big big trees but have you ever wondered what are these climbers, what are these creepers, what are these herbs, shrubs, some aquatic plants and all about trees. So we are going to learn about everything. Okay, so first type of a plant that we are going to learn is climber. And in Marathi, it is also called well. In Hindi, it is called bell also. And as you can see in the figure, it is climbing on the walls and all that. So climbers are a soft, soft tree. It means they are having a soft and weak stem. As we know the parts of a plant we have learned already. So they have weak stems and they cannot stand on their own. They need support to grow. And that is why climbers grow nearby other trees or the fences or the buildings, or the poles, or anything, anything that can give them a support. So climbers, they need support to grow. Why they need support to grow? Because their tender is weak and their stem is soft and weak. That is why they need support to stand and grow. This was about climber. Next one is Creeper, you might have seen some pumpkins, bottle guard, watermelons. These plants never grow up, up the ground. They just grow by the ground, okay? They grow along the ground. And in Marathi or in Hindi, it is also called bell or well. And sometimes in Marathi, it is also called a lata. So as you can see in the first, first picture, there is one watermelon plant. Okay, which is growing along the ground. In second one, one bottle guard is there, which is also growing along the ground. And in third one, pumpkin is there. So creepers and climbers are the same one, but climbers can climb using the support, any support of wall or any fence or something. But creepers, they don't climb. They just grow along the ground. So creepers are the plants, they have a soft, green stem and they also grow along the ground. This was about creeper. Now, third part, third type of a plant is shrubs. Shrubs means, uh, we in Marathi it is called a zuduk or in Hindi it is called a chadia also. So you might have seen some rose plants or the very important plant, tulsi plant, everyone has seen it. It is in front of your homes, houses, okay? So, shrubs are small, small plants, but they have very hard and thin stem. Very hard and thin stem. And their branches grow close to the ground. Like you might have seen some rose plants or a cotton plant or a tulsi plant. So, shrubs, they are having a hard, woody and thin stem. They have many branches and their branches grows along the ground. Third one, fourth one actually, it is 
water plant or it is also known as aquatic plant. So as a name, name suggests, they grow in the water. So water plants grow in the water. They lose underwater. Some of them just grow above the water. Some of them just grow inside the water. So which are the example? As first example is a lotus. Where you have seen lotus? Come on. Yes, you have seen lotus on the sign political symbol of BJP party you might have seen that is lotus then second one is a duckweed duckweed that floats on the water and third one is hydrilla that completely grows under water so water plants grows in water or they uh, their stems stays in water so lotus duckweed hydrilla these are the examples of aquatic or what? Last one is tree. It is also known as zhar, braksh or pain. So trees have a thick and strong stem and now this stem is called as a trunk and it has number of branches and these branches using this trunk, it grows high above the ground it grows high above the ground so which which type of plant we have seen first we have seen climbers then we have seen creepers then we have seen shrubs then water plants or aquatic plants and then we have seen actual tree these were the types of a plant now we are going to see parts of a plant so as you can see there are a number of parts of a plant like a root is there, stem is there, leaf is there, flower is there, then fruit is there. So we are going to see each part of the plant in detail now. So first part of a plant is called root. But as we can see, our whole part of a plants are divided into two systems. First system is a root system, second system is a shoot system. So in a root system, a root system means the parts of a plant which grows underground. The parts of the plant which grows underground are called root system parts. And the parts of a plant which grows above the ground, they come under shoot system. So first system that we are going to see is root system. So as you can see on your screen, you can see roots of a plant, okay? So part of a plant that grows underground, a part of a plant that grows underground, which is called a root. And as we have here, like the same roots also have fine, small, small hair, that hairs are called root hair. What they are called? They are called a root hair. So where these roots grow, these roots grow underground, okay? And what they have? They have small, small hairs. And what it is called? It is called root hair. Got it? Now, there are two types of a root. So first one is tap root. Second one is fibrous root. First one is tap root. Second one is fibrous root. And we are going to see each one of them in detail. So first type of root is tap root system. Okay, like some plants, like carrot you might have seen, which grows underground, okay? So some plants, they have a thick main root, okay? They have a thick main root and small growing from their sides. Means small, small hairs are there, but main root is very thick. This kind of a system is called taproot system. Like you, you might have seen carrot. Carrot have some small, small bushy, bushy hairs it has. Okay. But the main root is actually very thick. As you can see in figure, a root of a carrot is growing step by step, step by step. And each, in each step, it is becoming thicker and thicker. Okay. So main root of a plant is a thicker while its sides have small small hair. This type of a root is called 
cap root system. So in which which plant same root is seen? It is seen in our carrot also. It is seen in carrot, then cotton, then bean and pea. So in tap root system, main root is thick actually, and second root system is called fibrous root system. Which is the second root system? Fibrous root system. Now some plants are there that grows fibrous means hairy roots they have. So they have some branched branched roots. So some plants have fibrous roots which are branched. Means many uh, small small hairs are there to each part of the uh, root. So many thin roots starts growing from the base root actually. So they grow in a bunch actually. They grow in a bunch. So where we can see this fibr fibrous root system, this kind of root system can be seen in a plants like a wheat, in a grass, and in onion also you might have seen onion at the bottom it has some bunch of roots so this was about roots now what are the functions of a root so there are some functions of roots that we are going to see the first function of a root is they absorb what they absorb they absorb water and minerals and from where they absorb they absorb water and minerals from the soils as they grow in a soil so they go deeper and deeper to absorb water and minerals. And why plants need water and minerals? For the process of food making. The first function of a root is they absorb water and minerals from soil. Second one, they hold the plant firmly. Like if they don't have a root, plant will not stay steady, it will not grow taller okay so they hold the plants firmly in the soil where they hold not in the air they hold that in the soil third one they store food within them like we have seen tap root system carrot so carrot is actually root which store food within them so it they store food within them now if roots are not there then what will happen if roots of a plants are damaged then plant will not be able to get water from the soil and eventually by the time what will happen it will die so roots are a very important part of a plant so it performs some main functions also first function they absorb water and mineral from the soil second one they hold they hold the plant firmly in the soil third one they store extra food or extra food or whatever the food they have made within them like carrot and fourth one if roots are not there your plant will eventually by the time it will die because it will not get water minerals uh, from the root so this was about root system so once again we will revise what we have learned today so we have learned some types of plants so which which type of plant we have seen first one was a climber second one was a creeper third one was a shrubs fourth one was aquatic plant which is also known as water plant also fifth one are the main trees then we had seen seen some parts of a plant so which which parts of a plant we have seen fruit flower leaf stem and root but these all parts of a plants are divided into how many systems two system first one is root system second one is shoot system so in root system what comes only root comes because root system is the system which grows underground and shoot system is which grows above the ground in root system we have seen two types of roots tap root fibrous root in tap root we have seen they have one main thick root but in fibrous root we have seen bunch of roots then we have seen some functions of root so i hope you have understood today's topic so i hope you all will be stay safe at home okay enjoy our videos thank you